Hello, kind strangers. This is just an afterthought that I wanted to share with y'all. I installed this ceiling fan for my father on his front porch. And it's really big. I didn't even look at that. Um, all I saw was outdoor. And... It's like a hundred dollars. Anyway, Dad's ceiling fan wasn't working. He's asking me every other day for a fan, and we kept kind of putting floor fans out, but they they couldn't really compete with the wind. And um, so we got I got this fan this weekend. Um, it, you you want to use an outdoor fan when you're outdoors um, for for a few reasons. Um, all of the uh, screws and hardware are stainless steel, so none, none of that's going to rust. Uh, number two, it's it's made to be waterproof. It's the, uh, made to keep water out, keep humidity out of the electric motor, as well as all of the wiring. It's all got shrink wrap. It's all really well sealed up, and that's different. That's way better than indoor fan as far as dealing with temperature change expansion and contractions salt uh, water rain uh, but and also the blades are made of like a PVC uh, type of material and um, so that's the hack for this <laughs> when your fan blades are too long um, you, you, these PVC blades I, I had to cut them down um, and uh, get get enough clearance here. And if you're going to do this, you really, really need to be precise. Um, I cut this off with a a miter saw, a chop saw, Dewalt chop saw. Hey, by the way, Hunter makes really good ceiling fans. Can I get? A sponsorship hunter I love y'all <laughs> um, so I cut this off on a miter saw on a chop saw it's really made for wood but you can if you have a fine blade it, it'll cut this stuff and you want to go real slow and you actually want to cut it from the back to the front don't cut from front to back or it might pop and jump so you, 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 you can hopefully figure it out without uh, shattering anything if you did try this the way I did it. Um, I set the saw to about one degree, which gave me a, a nice square perfect end. And I flipped it over a couple times just to make sure. And then I um, cut all five blades and then I sanded them a little bit. They, they get a little frayed. They, the plastic starts to try to melt. So you don't want to go too fast or too slow when you're cutting. But I sanded it with 120 grit sandpaper and then kind of polished it with a sanding sponge and then my t-shirt. And that's just so that dirt won't show on the end. It's not real rough where it's, it's real nice. It's real clean. And again, you got to really be precise. You need these to all be the same length so that they're all the same weight. Other, if, if, if it's not balanced weight-wise, it is probably going to wobble everywhere. Um, anyway, I hope everybody has a happy Independence Day.